Oh, that's what happens when you be rushing. Good morning, fam. Getting ready to run my butt to the hair store real quick. I just threw my wig on, so if I look crazy, y'all, if y'all see some lace or some pullback or something like that, it's because I had to throw this on real quick. It don't look too bad. I need to cut it some more. But it's okay because I'm not actually going to be wearing this wig today. So we are having our Memorial Day cookout today. And then Cheek Cheek's family, they're going to do theirs on Monday. And which I'm glad that we're doing ours today because then we don't have to split family time where we got to go to my family's house for a few hours or his family's house for a few hours and then go to the next family member's house. Because that can get a little stressful. Especially when you're having a good time, but you know you got to go to the next family's house. Okay, y'all. All right, my wig don't look too bad, y'all. Not for me just to run it on, but the, that, that part right there is that part right there. That's the part I'm talking about. Where's my phone at? Oh, my phone is in the house, y'all. Oh, it's one of those moments where I'm just going to go without my cell phone. I hope I don't need it. I really do. <laughs> We shouldn't feel like we have to live like we need our cell phone. Okay, I thought I cut you off. Because before, before we had cell phones, we just had to do what we do. What the heck is going on here? What the heck is going on here, y'all? What the? What is this man doing with these dogs walking them like this? Okay. Okay. How you doing? Alrighty, you guys. So instead of him walking the Rottweilers, he's truck walking the Rottweilers, which I've never seen anything like that before in my life. <laughs> That's crazy. new every day but anyhow you guys we got our family cookout today and I'm going to run to the Arlington store to get myself some hair so I can make a ponytail for myself I got cupcakes to do even though auntie told me not to bring anything cuz she said I done done enough but I had some cake mix left over from her retirement party. And I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and make them and take them to her house because it won't get eaten at my house because I don't be making sweets and stuff like that unless it's upon request and somebody asks me to make something. But just to make for myself, I don't do that because I don't eat like that. And I don't eat chocolate like that either. I don't really care for chocolate. That ain't even my favorite. I pick my car up tomorrow. I got everything taken care of. My bank is going to finance my car. That's where I wanted my car financed at. Or they did finance it because it's, it's all done now. I um, could have picked it up yesterday. But Cheek Cheeks wanted to be with me when I pick up the car. And I was telling the guy that I've been working with for almost nine months now that... I was going to pick it up today. Actually, today was the day I was supposed to pick it up, but he's not going to be there. And this is the thing. And I totally get why he wanted to do it yesterday because he's not there today. And if I was to go and pick it up today, it's a possibility that he wouldn't get the sale. And after everything he and I have been through, I couldn't even see myself just walking in there and signing the papers 
and somebody else taking the sale for everything that he has done because he has done so much for me since August of 2021, so much. And they tried to play me and I stood my ground on them, y'all. I wasn't playing with them. So when I originally ordered my car, the way they're doing it now, at least through Ford anyways, but Ford said that everybody's gonna start, you know, doing this. You're gonna start building your car. They're gonna make to order. So when I built my car in 2021, my sticker price was $37.9 after I built my car. And I didn't get the bells and whistles, all of that stuff that I had on the Escape because I didn't use half of that stuff that was on the car. So I figured on this car, I'm not going to use all of them bells and whistles either. So just give me pretty much the basic stuff. I got some things, but pretty much everything was basic. The only thing that we have to get separately is the step boards that you step on to get inside the truck. We're getting those separately because when I had them add the step boards to the car, it put me in a whole different um packet in which it went up like eleven $1 hundred dollars and cheek cheeks was like why did this just go up eleven $1 hundred dollars and the guy was like oh because she added the step boards and put her into a, a a different packet so he said we'll take the step boards off we'll order them and i'll put them on because y'all know cheek cheeks honey he know how to fix a car he know how to do all of that stuff and he's gonna do it so we're gonna order the step boards in which we'll probably order on um, my next paycheck because I won't have many bills to pay with my next paycheck and then have him put them on whenever he get time to put them on. But because it pushed over into 2022. Okay then, gone. But because it pushed over into 2022, they were trying to charge me 2022 prices. Now this dude is just being way ridiculous in this car. Like you ain't in that big of a rush. This is like a, a main street. You don't gotta be driving that fast. It is not that serious. Anyhow, you guys, when they wrote up the purchase order for my car so I could send it over to the bank, it said that the Bronco was $505 more than what we signed off on back in 2021. And I told Matt when I texted him, I said, hey, I said, this purchase order is not correct. It's showing a $505 difference. And so he said, yes, the prices went up for the 2022 Bronco. I said, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I said, when I built my car in 2021, this was my window sticker price. This is what I signed off on, and this is what the manager signed off on. I said, and that's what I'm going to be paying. I said, so you're going to need to fix that. And I had a straight attitude. Like, we couldn't even converse anymore because my attitude was so stank, and I didn't want to take it out on him because he has been so sweet to me the whole entire time. But at, but at the same time, y'all not about to get over on me, period, point blank. So he ended up reaching out to his manager and saying, hey, she sent over her purchase order. This is what she signed off on. This is what the manager signed off on and we have to honor this and give it to her. So I guess they was going back and forth with somebody, but I said, I don't care who y'all going back and forth with. Y'all better get this right because I won't be picking that Bronco up. He ended up sending me a message the next day because he was off work trying to deal with this. The next day saying that he had to go through a lot to get them to fix it, but he ended up getting them to fix it. So after they fixed it, I sent it over to my bank. My bank sent over the paperwork for me to e-sign and also the letter to send over to them, the purchase, the, I forget what that part is called y'all, but it's, it's basically a check for auto nation i got all of that sent over my proof of insurance i could have picked up the car like i said yesterday but chi chi's had to work and we're gonna pick it up sunday so that way matt can get the sale and nobody else gets the sale from him but it hasn't overall been a bad experience it's 
taking some time just because of the pandemic and them having the chip shortage but overall with my bank approving me which my bank approved me like right away for the loan they detailed the car they washed the car so they detailed the car washed it in and out I don't know if I was supposed to do that but okay I need to pay attention all right, you guys, let me talk to y'all when I get home. We'll we'll converse then because I feel like I, I done said a couple things that I done repeated myself because I'm just like distracted and all over the place and I need to pay attention while I'm out here on these side streets because, honey, this side of town, they drive like New Yorkers and I can't keep up. Hey baby. Hey. What you doing? Working on the car. What you doing? You working on the car? Yeah, but doing the other side. Oh, okay. Um, I just got done making cupcakes. You making cupcakes? Yeah. But no cookies, huh? I told you I'll make you cookies. Just, just tell me what you want. I thought you said you was making told them that you was making cookies for them too, so. No, Auntie told me don't do nothing, but I just made this cake or these cupcakes because I had one left from her party. Uh, yeah, anyway, what time y'all going over there? Um, well, it's supposed to be three, but I told her I'm going to be late because I got to do my hair. Okay, well, I'm going to get back to work so I can get down. Okay, I'm going to come your way when I'm ready. All right. Okay, bye. Odd man out. I ran out of M&M's. Alrighty, you guys. So, my little cupcakes is done. And I ran out of M&M's. So, we got one that's plain sitting up in there. 
but yep that's it it's time for me to do my hair i thought i was gonna be able to talk to y'all while i was doing certain things but y'all I, I just i don't know how to talk and walk i just can't do it but i'm gonna try when i get in the bathroom once i start you know getting my hair together because i'm gonna try something but we gonna see if it works Alrighty, you guys, here's my outfit of the day. I took my wig off, thinking I was getting ready to do something else to my hair. And because I was rushing, it didn't come out right, so I had to throw this wig back on, y'all. And I'm not happy because I didn't want to wear this wig today, but I had to make it do what it do. So now I'm getting ready to go pick Chi Chi's up, and we're going to be headed over to auntie's house so i will see you guys in a minute what is up you guys good morning today is the day where we go pick up the bathroom. i just gotta get miss bella from outside and then we're gonna go she got herself wrapped around the dang on gazebo so i left her out here for a little while while i took my shower got myself together listen to her she want to be whining i told you stay out from over there Cause you don't know how to get yourself unwrapped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you keep making it worse. Now go back around. Follow it. Okay. Well, we ain't got time to think about it. I don't think I can dry this. This look too big. Been waiting for a while. Just to think, this is the average size. You can see them overlooked it. Have you? With the Sasquatch packages? Oh this my god. Cool. No, this is just the normal. This, this, the Sasquatch is a three and a half inch lift on it. I see it at work, but I don't know stop it. Oh my god. The Sasquatch is a three and a half inch lift on it. So here's the new whip, y'all. Oh my gosh. I'll give you guys a tour of the inside of it once we get it home. Oh my gosh. And that's mad, my salesman. Oh my gosh. Well, you guys, I'm just getting ready to sign some papers and then we are going to be out. I'll give you guys a full video tour of the car once I get it home. <laughs> right now, I'm just a little scared to drive it, so Babe's going to drive it and I'm going to drive what I've been driving.
guys so we are all done at the dealership babe is in front of me driving the car because I just didn't want to drive it I'm not ready yet you guys but I'm gonna end this video here I will definitely give you guys a tour of the car once I get it home so that'll be a whole separate video coming for you guys but as of right now you guys have a happy Memorial Day and I will see y'all on another boring quarantine video real soon bye fam